Oh, fightfans.com. What's up, Bishop Man? Pretty boy Floyd, the one and only. Uh, hello to uh, fightfans.com. Fightfans.com. James Lights Out, Tony. How you doing? Okay, so we're at uh, fightfan.com and we're here at the uh, Mayweather Gym with uh, light welterweight prospect uh, Mark Melligan. Uh, 23 years old, right? Yeah. 140 pound division uh, southpaw uh, from the Philippines and you're uh, 15 and 1 right now, that's right? Yeah, 15 and 1. Okay. Uh, maybe you could tell us uh, how did you start getting interested in boxing? Uh, because of my father. Yeah? He, he liked boxing, that's why, that's why I'm back. How, how old were you when you started? Uh, I'm start, uh, I'm five years old. Five years old? Yeah. yeah. And uh, what was your amateur career like? My amateur career? Yeah. Uh, could you tell, us, tell us a little bit about your amateur career. Uh, I, I fight in amateur, I'm in three, three years and a half. Yeah. Maybe I have five, uh, maybe 100, 150, 100, uh, maybe 200 like that. Yeah? yeah. And uh, what, what's your style like? How would you describe your style for those who haven't seen you fight before? Um, my style is, um, be, because my idol is Mayweather, Junior Floyd. It is, yeah? Yeah, that's yeah. why my, I have a style like him. So, bo uh, boxer? Yeah, no, no, style is boxer. Yeah? And uh, your coach tells me intelligent, very yeah, intelligent, intelligent fighter? Yeah. yeah. Uh, good defense. Yeah, good defense. Uh, you turned pro in 2006. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And you had uh, one loss in 2007. Is that right? Yeah, 2007. Can you tell us about that and what you learned uh, from it? Because I have uh, six fight only, and mm -hmm. in my fight is the first round. Opponent, I knocked him out in the first round, mm -hmm. second round, and that my seventh fight is. Uh, WBO championship, that's why I'm lost, because I don't have uh, more experience in pro. What do you feel you learned from that? Uh, that uh, that's good, uh, because I'm training hard, yep. and I, I do good. And of course, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao, he had a loss early in his career and he came back. Yeah, that, that, that's a normal, that, that's a part of the sport. And uh, can you maybe tell us what your goals are in the next uh, couple of years, what goals you have? Goals? Yep. Yeah, to be a world-class champion. World-class champion? And do you feel you're, you're close right now? How, how far away do you feel from bigger um, fights you are? Maybe one year or one and a half like that. Yeah? Yeah. And you, you signed with Top Rank yeah. and uh, they've been doing a very good job matching yeah. you. Top Rank, four years. Yeah? I signed Top Rank four And years. how has it been so far? How do you how do you like it? Yeah, that's uh, very good. Yeah, that's good. The, uh, that, that's a good uh, opportunity for me. Um, yeah, he's, he's actually sparred with the number one in the world, also ex-world uh, ex champion Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's had a couple of sparring sessions with Floyd and Floyd thinks he's very good. Um, the last big sparring session we had was with Marcus Maidana, who fought Victor Ortez for the tie, uh, interim uh, WBA world title, and you know what happened there. Right, yeah. He won, and actually Mark held his own with yeah. Marcus, he really did. He, he could actually outbox Marcus because he, he didn't get pulled into the trap like Medina pulled in artists. He kept boxing. 
was good, good, good. He had about 60 rounds of spine. And he's 23 years old, that's right? Yeah. Years old. And that, you're talking about the patience that he showed not jumping into engaging in a firefight. Absolutely. And that's his style of fighting. I've noticed with Mark that he's a slow starter. He thinks, he looks, he sees the weaknesses, then he exposes them, and then he takes them apart. And this is what we're hoping to see in this next fight against Rosales. Although he's 5 foot 11 tall, you're breaking down. You, uh, you had the opportunity to spar with your idol, Floyd Mayweather, that's yeah, right? Yeah. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about that experience? Uh, uh, that, that's a good, uh, uh, that's a, it, it gave me a, a big uh, confidence for yep. myself because uh, he's a seven times world champion and he sparred me and I learned a lot uh, of him. What kind of things did you learn in the sparring? Uh, uh, thinking, what's, uh, what's the fans and move fast. Also. Patience, yeah? Yeah, patience yeah. and relax. And did you, did you manage to hit him a few times? I heard you, you, you hit him a few times, good, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That, that's good, good confidence, right? Yeah. Um, and so, can you maybe tell us a little bit about your fight on August 15th? You're fighting on the card with Nonito Donaire? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, uh, I give, uh, my opponent is uh, Michel Rosales, I give him a good, good fight. Yeah? Yeah. And you think it'll be an exciting fight? Yeah, that's a uh, really exciting fight. And it's the, uh, t it's the televised opener, so you'll be yeah. fighting on TV? Yeah, of course. And I understand they're broadcasting it back in the Philippines, that's right? Yeah. Yeah, so is that a lot of pressure on you or does it uh, motivate no, you? Uh, the same, uh, the, the same uh, for um, uh, how, uh, how's my fighting uh, simple. Okay. Everything will be known once he steps up into the big boy class. Let's just wait and see, but at the present time and the way he's going, he's impressed me. So let's see if he can impress me more. And in your opinion, how far do you th how how far off do you think he is from some of the, the bigger fights out there? I would say um, by next year he could yep. be fighting for the title. That's, that's, I, I really feel that, you know, and I mean, top rank, and I give them their due, you know, the matchmakers, they are really good, they know what they're doing, they're guiding his career, Bob Arum's guiding his career, everybody's interested in him, you know, and obviously everybody knows that Manny's not going to box forever and he could be out of the game next year, so this is the weight division to be in, either 140 or 147, you know, so hopefully we have it in this guy, I feel we have. You know, it's just, once he believes in himself, which he's starting to do, anything's possible. All right. and, uh, and it, do you have anything to say to all your fans in closing? What do you want to say to the fans out uh, there? America, to, Philippines? Yeah, to all my fans in Philippines and America, just watch my fight. That, that's a good, good fight, and thank you to support me. Okay, we'll, we'll be watching on August 15th. Thank yeah, you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs>